We know that for individuals with cerebral palsy who have more severe motor impairment, that hospitalisations is actually one of the major determinants of their quality of life. And the main cause of hospitalisation is respiratory or lung illness. So despite lung infections being very common in people with cerebral palsy, there was very, very little research into this area. We, there was no uh, evidence regarding what the actual risk factors were, and certainly our respiratory checklist is the first of its kind that we're aware of worldwide. The checklist has been set out so that parents can use it as quickly and efficiently as they can, so they can get an answer within about five to ten minutes of starting. And at the end, they'll end up with all the risk factors that apply to their child and some information about what to do once they have that information and who they might see about it. And I think it gives them an approach and a, and a decision uh, guideline really for what to do with the risk factors that they now have in their hands. Um, it also gives, as a reminder, information about the general health measures that we can all adopt that might help our respiratory health, such as using the flu vaccination, um, looking after our nutrition, getting regular exercise. So um, they are just as important and, and readily accessible as well. Um, the nice thing about the checklist is that it's available internationally. The problem itself, of course, affects all children everywhere with cerebral palsy and it gives uh, parents, therefore, the chance to access their local services um, or their local therapist to, to do something about this once they've identified it. And it's not restricted by their local clinician or their local expertise in the area. They may be identifying it themselves um, rather than be guided to it by their own service providers.